Hello guys, I'm SonicFam10193. Today, Tournament 4 begins on Ninjas of Halo. 25 competitors will try, but will any be successful? We are about to find out. It, this has been months in the making, and I just want to start with thanking everyone who competed and everyone who is watching. Now let's go ahead and look into Stage 1, where we have 8 brutal obstacles, and, yeah, 8 brutal obstacles, um, this is a the agility stage, and there's not much more I can say about it. Let's get into what the obstacles are. We have the sinking steps, the turtle slider, the circle hammer, the jumping spider, the sonic curve, no questions about the name, the great wall, the Vehicle Bouncer, and the Rope Climb. Our competitors will have 90 seconds. Well, let's get this show on the road. No more wasting time with, with useless talk. Let's get started with Stage 1. 25 competitors, 4 stages, and the first ever run of Tournament 4 is Budge3159. He's more of a shooter, so... In Halo, so this will be a bit interesting. You'll have 90 seconds. And he's off. He's on the shrinking steps, a new obstacle. We originally had the quintuple steps every time, and he beats it. No problem there. He's on the curtain slider. Um, I think he's a bit confused. You're supposed to go on the thin ledges that you see on your screen and go along the thing. He doesn't seem to know what he's doing. He goes on the wrong side and he falls. There's an invisible wall there, Budge. Oh, man. Oh, dear. Well, moving on is Drew TV 37 This is Drew's second appearance. Last tournament, he failed the curtain slider. This tournament, it, it has been nerfed drastically, so it will be interesting how he does. He said he feels pretty confident about the curtain slider, but he still fails it a lot in practice before this run. He's on the shrinking steps. He's going a lot slower than Budge did. He just went straight for it. And he goes for the dismount. He's got it. He's on the curtain slider. Like he said, he failed this last tournament. And he has it. He's on the he's on to the circle hammer. He's never attempted this before in a real run. He has to hit the bounce and go into the slide, and he comes up short. Oh well. Well, after that, we had a few more competitors kick on the course, including Marius Marcos, who could not get the second jump. We had Tickish9803, who completely screwed up on the same steps. And we had Dark Eye the Jaw. I don't know how to say that, and he also did the same steps. Well, moving on is Killer Man. This is this is his third appearance, the first competing in tournament two, where he achieved his current personal best by failing the vehicle bounce. However, last tournament he just beat. However, last tournament he failed at just the circle hand. He's through the shrinking steps. He's on to the curtain slider and he beats it. He just watched Drew fail the circle hammer. Will he fail like him? He goes backwards on it. That's a new technique and he beats it. 
He's on the jumping spider. First look at this, uh, the jumping spider this tournament, and he flies through it. He's done it. He's on to the Sonic curve. This obstacle was buffed a whole lot. And by spacing out the jumps and making the rope a golf ball instead of a soccer ball. But he doesn't have a problem with it. He's on to the new Great Wall. He expressed concern for this obstacle in practice. And he's not up at a 1. Still plenty of time. About 40 seconds. And he gets the rope and he's over. He's on the vehicle bounce. He failed this in the last one. And he apparently gets like a running start there. Don't know what happened. And he's got it. He's got 30 seconds for the rope. Are we about to see the first clear? He's climbing the rope. He's got plenty of time. As long as he doesn't screw up, we're going to see the first of a finish on, on this turn. And he's done it. Cover the man for the first time ever. He's no fun now. Clear to stage one. <laughs> What a, that was pretty much a flawless run. Had very little issues throughout the entire stage. We have backwards technique on the circle hammer. Our first the person to beat that today. He absolutely demolished the obstacle that took him out in training two, the vehicle bouncer. And Killed Man is our first stage one finisher. <laughs> Unfortunately, the footage for number 7 of Mary Halo Kids Run was corrupted just days before release. He filled the circle hammer. This was his second appearance with his rank being a regular. Well, moving on is number 8, Patrillo Fam 4. This is his second appearance last tournament. He also failed the circle hammer just like Killer to Man. Can he break that curse like he did? We're about to find out. <laughs> He gets a good running start at the sinking steps. He's crouching at the first few jumps, but nonetheless, he's through. He's on to the circle hammer. And, oh, he's going to take a few save jumps. He's going to stick the first ledge, and he beats it. Another new, interesting new technique. And he's into the circle hammer, which he beats. He's, in, he's jumped into the jumping spider. Why did I say jumping so many times? Someone count. <laughs> anyway. He's in it. He's on the third one. He drops down. He's going to save on the fourth. And he's got it. About 50 seconds for the sonic curve. He's moving through it nicely. He stops on the fifth one. He goes for it. And he's got it. He's got 35 seconds for the gray wall. Killer the man had a put a few attempts on this, but he's up at a one. He's got 30 seconds for the vehicle bouncer. He takes a slower approach, and it works. He's got 20 seconds for the rope. He has enough time. He just needs to beat it. He needs the rope. He just has to climb. And he's gonna do it. He's gonna be our second finisher. Look at that. He's dancing out to the clocks and sounds, but it doesn't matter. It's pretty it's pretty pretty cool. Moving on to stage two. Would you look at that? What a smooth run. He beats the circle hammer, which took him out last tournament. He used the normal technique, unlike Killer, but nonetheless. He got up the gray wall in one try, which Killer could not do. He only he had to take two or three, I don't remember. And he managed to clear stage one. Well, after that, we had a few more runs. We had Spartan Smith 2, who failed the first jump, and someone else in the random background. And we had Perennial Crowd do the exact same thing. Well, 10 people have tried, and 3 have cleared. We got 15 more runs to go, and if anyone's going to join them, it's, like, it's the most dedicated person on this course. This is Tricky Cyrus. He's a member of the Fantastic Four, meaning that he's competed in every tournament. One of four people to do so. That's why I call him the Fantastic Four. Last tournament, he got a personal best by timing out on just... Uh, by, he didn't time out. By failing the vehicle bouncer. Anyway, he's through the circle hammer, got about 70 seconds for the rest of the stage. He save jumps there, I don't think he needed that, but, you know, ooh, close one there. He lags a bit, 
And for a moment, it looked like he fell off, but he gets it. He's on the sonic curve. Got 50 seconds here. He's going. He doesn't stop. And he falls off. Wait, what? He lags it again. But he's apparently through the sonic curve. He's onto the gray wall, which he's not up in a one. It's fine. Killer to the same. He's not up in a two. He's got. He's down to 30 seconds. He'd like. He probably should get up it by now. He's not up in a three. He gets it finally. Can he make it over? Yes, he can. He's got 20 seconds. If he finishes, this is going to be close. He goes directly for the vehicle bouncer. That's not the recommended technique, but he gets it anyway. The claxon is sounding. But now it is. But he's still climbing the rope. Will he have enough time? This is going to be very close. He's got 20 seconds. Come on. Go, 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 go. And he's done it. He clears by less than a second on the clock. Unbelievable. Seven tenths of a second on the clock. Wow, that was insane. A laggy run all together, but he still managed to clear. He had he took a few attempts on the Great Wall, but managed to most importantly beat his nemesis, the vehicle bouncer. And Tricky Cyrus is our third finisher of the day. Well, next up is someone who's apparently already on the course. Get back to the start line. This is Daddy Cheese 2640, better known as Cheese's Life 5. This is his second appearance. Last tournament, he failed the jumping spider. He's running around like a maniac now. Anyway, Daddy Cheese 2640. Here he goes. He's onto the second set. He. Gets it nicely. He only took eight seconds off the clock compared to the normal ten that most people took. He's into the circle hammer and he's got it. No problem there. He's into the jumping spider and he's got it. No issue there. He's moving through it, which he does. He's into the. He's going to the sonic curve. Which he's on to the fifth one, and he doesn't stop like Tricky Cyrus from earlier, and he's got it. He's into the Great Wall. Cyrus had a bit of trouble with it, so to kill her. He's not up in a one. He's not up in a two. He probably wants a bit more momentum catching that switch there, and he's got it. He's into the vehicle bouncer. He gets one, two, and he's off. He's into the he's into the final rope. He might clear as well. This is insane. He's got 15 seconds. He's gonna do it as well. Another clear. We're just 12 runs in, people. With 11.3 seconds on the clock, Daddy keeps his life. He's moving it on as well. Wow. What a smooth run. He beats the jumping spider that took him out in the last tournament. A good little revenge story for him there. He beats the Great Wall after a few tries that Cyrus struggled with, and, a gr and he made himself look like a veteran on this course, and, and he deserves that, as he's moving on to stage two. Well, next up is Mighty Max 80. The, he's, an, he's a second member of the Fantastic Four. Last tournament, he nearly beat stage one, but however, he timed out as he was running to the buzzer. He's into the stinky steps and he beats it. The curtain slider, not a problem. He's into the, the circle hammer. He's failed that before, but he beats it. He's on to the jumping spider and not a problem. He's taking a bit of time for this obstacle. He certainly had issues with a, with a slow pace last time, but he's making sure that that doesn't happen this time. He's got 50 seconds right now. He's going to stop on the fifth one like everyone else did on the Sonic Curve. And he's got it. He's into the great wall. He's got 40 seconds. He's not up in a one. He can't get up in a two. You're not supposed to jump. You're supposed to just let the thing take you up. 
and he keeps jumping. This is not a good technique for the Great Wall, and he still can't get up it. He's got 25 seconds. He should be concerned right now about the Great Wall. He's down to 20 seconds. He's running out of time. He's reached down to 15 seconds. He still can't get up it. Come on, this is he, he's not going to kill him. He knows if he's just standing there. He's going to try at this point. Come on, just get up it. But he can't. He just cannot get up it, and the time is up. Mighty Max cannot beat the Great Wall. Well, moving on is Strafe Helix. This, this is, he is a newcomer, this is his first appearance, and he has an obsession with the words, give me room. Don't know what context that's in, but anyway, Straight Felix, he's a pretty good jumper overall. Um, certainly one of the better ones out here. And he's through the same from the issue. He's in the clean slider, which he beats. He gets shot by Drew, and he's in the background, and he cannot beat the circle hammer. Oh, well. Well, moving on is Long Shot Arrow 76. He cleared stage one last tournament, however, timed out on stage two. He um, he has a obsession with furries. We went from someone who loves to be given room to someone who loves furries. Moving O W O, I guess. And he is in the shrinking steps. No issue. This time there's not seem to be much of an issue aside from Cyrus and Mighty Max's run. We got the time all time limits got uh got no flash time after um after we had four different timeouts. So yeah. Um he's in the jumping spider, which he is he jumps to the fourth one and he's got it. Not a problem there. And he's in the Sonic Curve. And he stops on the fourth one. I think that's the first time we've seen someone do that. Stops on the fourth and fifth um, platform. And he beats the Sonic Curve. We just watched Mighty Max time out on this. So I'm sure he would love to not do the same. He's not up in one. He has a little bit less time than everyone else did at this point. He's going a bit slow pace, but he's over. He's down to 25 seconds, going into the vehicle bouncer. And he's done it! He's into the he's into the rope, but he's gotta pick up the pace. He's moving, he's going slow. You can't you don't have time for that. You have to move. He's still going rather slow. He's down to five seconds, come on! He's done it with three seconds on the clock, another close thing! Long shot arrow, Ooh, what a sigh of relief for him as he keeps up his streak and is moving on to stage two once again. Not a problem for this run, really. Didn't seem to have any issue whatsoever. He gets up the great wall in just two tries after just watching Mighty Max fail it all together. And yeah, pretty much smooth run as long shot arrow will be our fifth clear of the day. Well, 15 competitive, not 5th clear, 4th clear. Um, I don't know why that thing's, that's fifth. That's 5 clears out of 15, but nonetheless, this is Snot. He is one of the, he is one of the, um, oldest jumpers around, literally, and, um, age-wise, and how, and, um, length-wise. He has been jumping for a long time. And this is his first appearance. So yeah, he's in the circle hammer right now. By the time I finish his profile, he's in the jumping spider. Anyway, he's really he couldn't beat the circle hammer in practice, so it's interesting he gets this far. And oh near save there! He's onto the sonic curve. And no, he goes off to the side side! Oh well. He we had the wrong angle. So well, after that, we had a few more runs. We had Motion Creator 35, who got the first jump, but couldn't beat the second. And we had Sam, 1017, who was the first jump. Well, next up is Alpha Puma XX. Or XX Alpha Puma X. I don't care. He is. 
he said he wanted to speed run this, so it's gonna be interesting how he does. He might be, he might be an absolute flop. He might actually get through the fastest time so far. Who knows? He goes for the circle hammer, and he's got it. Not a problem there. He's in the jumping spider. He expressed concern for this. He skips the third ledge, and he's got it. Wow, that's the fastest we've seen anyone do the jumping spider. He's on the sonic curve, and he speed runs that as well. He's on to the great wall, and he's going up. And he can't get up in a wall and get blocked by something. And he gets up in a no! He goes off to the side! Alpha Puma! Down on the Great Wall! Well, next up is Smoky Massacre. There's Ump in the background. Get off the course, Ump. You're going to be running later. This is Smokey's second appearance. Um, last, and he last competed in tournament two, where he failed the jumping spider. He doesn't have an issue with the new first obstacle. The current side is new to him, and he beats it. He beat the circle hammer in his last tournament that he competed in, and not a problem. He just drops him off. This is what he failed last time. The Jumping spider, he had he ended up touching the window, which disqualified him, but he beats it this time. He's in the sun because he just watched Nas fail this. And he beats it. Not an issue. He's onto the green wall. Alpha Puma and Mighty Max had issues with this obstacle. And he's over and one. He's on to the vehicle bouncer. He's Mm, taking an interesting approach. I don't think that's the right approach. <laughs> that's for no smoky. <laughs> oh dear. Well then, moving on. Um. Um. What is going on? So this is Snaz, Streif, and Smokey currently surrounding Hunter, and um, with threats of their pistols and attempting to um interrogate them. I don't know what's going on here, but the point is, it is Hunter's run. This is his third appearance. He, um, in his debut, he failed the vehicle bouncer, and then in tournament three, he cleared stage one only to fail the metal spin. And here he goes. He has a pretty big crowd behind him. I think that's blue in the background, and someone who just flew. And another person is blue. I think that's five people in the background, but anyway, um, Circle Hammer, he has no issue with it, it's the invisible wall there to stop people from flying right off, and he's into the jumping spider right now, and then skips it, skips half the jumping spider, anyway, um, I think there's a fight going on in the crowd between Drew and, um, yeah, I think Drew and Strick are having a fight in the background, but nonetheless, about 45 seconds for the great wall, and he is moving, he can't get up it in two, he can't get up it in three, this is concerning, he's still got enough time though if he moves quickly, if he gets, if he picks up the pace, he's into the vehicle bouncer, he's failed this before, and he beats it. Well, the, the, the mongoose goes absolutely crazy, but nonetheless, here he goes. He's climbing the claps and sounds, but I think he's got it. And Hunter Gamer 751, and someone shoots at them, but it doesn't matter. Hunter Gamer 751, the sixth clear, and the first one seems long shot. And we have another stage one clear. He's, this is the, he, he, blah, 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 blah. um, he had no issue on the circle hammer. <coughs> the sonic curve was <coughs> sorry. The sonic curve was not a problem. And the vehicle bouncer, which he failed in a previous tournament, he beat. And Hunter Unit 751 is our sixth finisher of the day. Well, next up is a competitor who has competed in every 
who has been stage one in every tournament he's been a part of. He's not a member of the Fantastic Four, but he is fantastic at jumping. It's the Godfather on Double O. He beats the sinking steps, and he's into the curtain slider, which he doesn't have a problem with. He beats the, he's on the circle hammer, which he beats as well. What is there to say about him? He's probably the most experienced jumper out here and arguably of all time. He, um, he likes to, he, him and Snarls are great friends, hence why Snarls is there in the background showing him on. And, yeah, he's a brilliant jumper, and last time he made it to the place of quick on stage three. Right now, he is on the Great Wall. We watched. Alpha Puma struggle with this. He is seeming to do the same. He can't get it. He's struggling right now. He's down to 25 seconds. This is concerning. He needs to get up right now, and he can't. He's still struggling. Come on, up. Get up. Get on this level. <laughs> the klaxon is about to sound. He's still not up it. Just, come on, just get up for pride or something. Um, no, the, he's down to five seconds. And Um is not going to clear. He gets over He gets over just as the time runs out, but it doesn't matter. He keeps going, but it is but it's no use as Ump Double Ump is timed out on stage one, the first time he's failed stage one. Oh, well. Well, add that to the list of timeouts. Next up is Atlantic Champ. He is the host of Halo Sasuke, which just wrapped up his tournament two. He can totally run the tournament two whenever this comes out, because his course is amazing. It's arguably better than mine. That doesn't mean stop watching. But, um... He is into the. He's going to the circle hammer right now. What is it to say about Atlantic Champ? He is the, a member of the Fantastic Four and Tournament One to report a Shingo on the half cup attack. And um, ever since that day, he has never failed stage one. In fact, he's been to stage three every time. He, he's on the Sonic crew. And he doesn't have an issue with it. He goes straight for it, and he's got it. No problem there. He is up the Great Wall. Can he touch it? No, he can't. He just watched Ump fail this. He goes over, and he's got it. He's into the Vehicle Bouncer. And 30 seconds left, and he's done it. We're going to have another finisher. As Atlantic Champ is climbing the rope, got 20 seconds left, and we have another clear. He's just dancing at this point. He knows that he's done it. He's down to 15 seconds, but it doesn't matter. As Atlantic Champ moving on to stage two. What a smooth run all together. We didn't have much issue with me randomly opening the menu. Um, no, whoever whoever made a joke about me having a menu in my home, no. Don't don't even start that. But anyway, um, I think that was Wolf. But he didn't have much issue at all with the stage. He beats the he beats the great wall. And as soon as run all together as Atlantic Champs moving on to stage two. Well, a crazy he day here at Mount Midoriyama, but we just have two runs to go. And one of them is our final member of the Fantastic Four, and the Hunter Unit 751 of, uh, in the Smokies, of Smokies course. And this is RPG 445. He's most known on this course for never failing Stage 1. In Tournament 1, he got all the way to the hang climb, but could not beat it. In Tournament 2, in tournament two he failed the metal spin, and in Tournament 3, he failed the final obstacle of Stage 2. He's hoping to seek some redemption on the second stage and actually get to the Stage 3 this time around. But that starts with Stage 1. He's into the circle hammer, which he beats. He's onto the jumping spider. He's never had a problem with pretty much any of these obstacles. Most of them are just easy to him. And he's got it. 
which he doesn't, he's, he's notable for not taking that much time to practice, he tends to just be over it, which is an interesting way of looking at it, but anyway, it's got 45 seconds for the great wall, he goes up and he goes off to the side, that's not, that's an interesting one. Most people have been going backwards, but he's not. This is it. This is concerning. He's down to 30 seconds. He gets over it, but no, he can't. He managed to get on the ball, but he can't get over. He's down to 20 seconds. Come on, Rob, get up the wall. Another person is struggling on the good wall, and he manages to finally get on. And he manages to get over with the claps. He's already about the sound. Look at this. He's down to 40 on the This was not how you were supposed to fail. Or, this is not how you were supposed to go out. Come on, Rog. For the first time ever failing stage one, we have to see how he feels about this. Well, I had a perfect stage one play record going into this tournament. I was the only guy to do so, and unfortunately my streak was broken. I was a little worried about that great wall going into this run. And ultimately, that's what it cost me. Like, I knew when I eventually did get up it, like, I just had to go on the vehicles. And I kind of got a little caught up there. And eventually, I, I just ran out of time. So it's a shame that this streak is over. But it will give me more of an opportunity to get revenge going into the next tournament. So we'll see how that goes. Alrighty, well, 24 have tried, and so far, 7 have been able to clear. However, if anyone's going to join them, it's going to be this guy. This is DHG Fireball, a veteran and on his third appearance, and he's also never failed Stage 1. But in the last two tournaments that he competed in, he, in both of them, he failed the hang climb. And last time he got first He's currently in the turn fighter, which he beats. He's into the circle hammer, and no problem. He's through. He's on the jumping spider. He gets the bounce, and he's in. So far, no one has failed the jumping spider, and that's going to stay that way. On uh, the sonic curve, only Snarl has failed this. And he's not going to go down the same path by the looks of it, and he doesn't. He's into the jumping spider. No, no, he isn't. He's into the great wall. And he is up at a one. The first person to do that since I don't even know. He goes directly for the vehicle bouncer, and he beats it. <clears throat> he's, into the, he's into the rope. He's currently torching the course. And he's climbing the rope at, top, at Mach 2 speed. And he's gonna clear with more than 20 seconds on the clock. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Anyway, a, a brilliant run all together. And he is, and he got up a great wall of ones. I think only him and Patrillo have been able to do that. And a overall flawless run as DHU Firewall continues his stage his stage is to street and he's moving on or stage one street and he's moving on to the second stage well the people moving on to stage two are killer man patrol fam four tricky cyrus daddy cheese 2640 long shot 76 honey and 751 atlantic champ and dhu fireball dear god <laughs> anyway stage two we're gonna get right straight into this with killer demand this is his first time on stage two in years, he said. He beats the spider walk, he's into the swap salmon ladder. This obstacle premiered in tournament two. And he gets the first transfer, he gets up the hard run. And he gets the second transfer. He is into the dancing stones. This is the new obstacle of the stage. He's into the bridge jump. This obstacle is only taking out one person ever, and that's Mega Warrior 718 from Turner 1. And he beats it. 
Mickey on to the metal spin, and he beats it, or he beats on the final obstacle we're about to have, as long as he doesn't screw up, break the tension, we're about to have our, our first second stage clear, and he does it! Our first runner on stage two, Killer Demands, moving to stage three for the first time since about tournament 17 of Smokey's course. Wow! A brilliant run all together. He just managed to pull through, and he's cleared stage two. Wow! Our first ever, our first run, and our first clear. Well, next up is Patrillo Fam Four. Patrillo, this is his first time on stage two, since last term he failed just a third obstacle. He's known for getting to stage two two times in his two appearances on Smokey's course. However, he is yet to beat the second stage. And he beat Spider Walk, and no problem there. He's into the Swap Salmon Ladder. He expressed concern for this in practice, and not a problem. And he's the dancing stones. He's gonna. You have two paths that you can choose to take. You can take the ones with the bigger size rocks, and you, and it's longer jumps. Or you can take the smaller ones, and you have the shorter jumps. He beats the bridge jump. No! He fails the bridge jump. He, he had it down. Oh, let's see what happened there. He gets he gets in through the mongoose and he right he does it correctly. He didn't seem to have an issue, but when he lands, he jumps out a little too late and he cannot save himself and patrol of fan falls down on the bridge jump. Well, next up is Daddy Cheese 2640. It is very smart to have number 12 go before number 11. I don't know why. Um, no one questioned my editing skills. Anyway, Daddy Cheese 2640. This is his second appearance. And he this is his first time on stage two. This is the longest intro by far that we'll have in the entire thing. But anyway, um, he is in to the spider walk. Oh yeah, by the way, the tunnel makes you five seconds. I don't know why I didn't mention that. Um, anyway, he goes to the first walk, getting some interesting camera angles there. There's the sunset behind us. Um, he is into the dancing stone. And he's got it. He's into the bridge jump. He just watched the thriller fail this. Now, will that concern him at all? He goes directly for it, and he beats it. He does it correctly for once. He's into the metal thing. He takes a stage jump at it, and he's got it. We're, gonna, we're about to have another stage two clear, as long as he doesn't mess up break the tension. Would you look at that? He is absolutely, he just killed stage two, and he's our second finisher of the day. What do you know? A pretty good run altogether, didn't have any issue with the dancing stones, the new obstacle. And despite this all being uncharted territory for him, he absolutely demolished it. He beat the bridge jump, which he watched the trailer fail seconds before, and takes it and had the stage jump on the, um, had the save jump on the metal spin, and he is moving on to stage two. Well, next up is the dedicated British Roblox kid, Tricky Cyrus. This is his first time on the second stage. He's mainly just excited to be here. And he's off. This is his first time on the second stage, and he beats the spider walk with no problem. He's a swap salmon ladder. Interesting fact, this thing caused two timeouts last week. He's in two. He's been going for the second time, so he doesn't make it. Can he say himself? No, he can't! Tony Cyrus feels the second obstacle on stage two. I think that's the first time that we've... I think that's the worst performance on stage two ever. And he just doesn't make it. No! 
he was doing well but just couldn't make it. Oh man, that's sad. Well, next up is the Furry King. The King of Owos and Owos is Longshot Arrow 76. He is, um, what what can I say about him? There's a random sky cam in the background. I think that's Atlantic Champ on top of it. And I don't, it, that's probably Hunter or Rog in the Ghost. But anyway, I'm talking about the top left corner, by the way. Um, he barely makes the spider walk. He's into the swap standing on a tricky spider. Cannot get that from the transfer. And not an issue. Into the dance. He thinks he's going to take a short path. This is the first time someone's attempted it in a run, and he's got it. Just the pass, you don't really need anything on. And he's into the bridge jump, and he beats it. He's into the metal spin, he doesn't take a stage jump, and he gets it. He's into the, he's into the, um, he needs to break the tent, because he's not going to time out, and he's not going to fail at it. He's moving on to stage two. Long shot in or what a smooth run all together. He's moving on to the second stage. No, the third stage. And he got he barely caught himself on the spider walk, took the small path on the dancing stones, but absolutely wrecked the course nonetheless. As long shot arrow after after timing out last tournament is moving on to stage two. Well, next up is the host of Ninja Warrior of Halo. It's Hunter Unit 751. No more people to surround him, as all the people who were doing that did not get here. As he is in the to he is through the jumping spider, or the jumping spitter, as I call it. Drops down. That is legal. Drew shoots at him again. I, he, he has him accept him shooting at people. Um, that's definitely not allowed. He's going to be punished for that. Um, he gets the second transfer and through. He takes the big pass. And he's got it. He's into the bridge jump. He, had, he, he struggled with this in practice. But he, what on earth? <laughs> he manages to flip the thing. This is what he failed last tournament. And he almost shoots it. He fails. Hunter, what happened there? He gets the crazy save on the bridge on the bridge jump. And he, but he just overshoots the tiny plat, the blue platform. And Hunter and 751 is down. Just lo- he just overshot it. No. And he's down on stage one, two. Well, just two more runs to go on the second stage, and it's Atlantic Champ who's up next. He's never failed this stage. And here he goes. He skips the third set of the um, firewalk just like everyone else. Four third set, never gets used. And anyway, um, he's into the dancing stones. There's a rod in the background. You know, just being wrong, he failed stage one earlier. At least he gets to see stage two. Anyway, he gets the bridge jump. He's into the he beats the metal spin and he can to break the tension as long as he doesn't mess up he's going to through stage two as well. And he does it! He's through stage two and a win camp, another clear on this stage. He just a- absolutely destroys it and is currently getting shot by Rod and a brilliant run altogether. He didn't seem to have any issues overall, just like stage one. 
and a absolute powerhouse of a jumper has beaten the second stage. Well, we just have one more jumper to go on the second stage of of speed. And if anyone's going to beat a speed stage, you know it's going to be the biggest speed demon of all time. It's DHG Fireball. This is his third time here. He has never failed this. And here he goes. He beats the spider walk, and he's in to the, the swap salmon ladder, which he beats. Did he just do a spring jump to get over the this ledge? Interesting. So anyway, about 45 seconds, he, he just took 20 seconds to get halfway to the stage. This is what I mean by a speed demon. He is absolutely demolishing this stage. He's got 35 seconds for the final obstacle. And he is going to do it. He, with 28 seconds on the clock, he is the fireball. He beat stage 2 in record time. That's the fastest second stage here ever, as he just absolutely crushed it. As he had no issues whatsoever. I don't know what, I'm speechless for that. He absolutely demolished the second stage, and just, and, uh, and, and he just, wow, it's incredible. And he's moving on to stage three. Well, the people moving on to stage three are Killer Demand, Daddy Cheese, Longshot Arrow, Atlantic Champ, and DHG Firewall. Will any of them beat it? Let's find out. Well, we ain't gonna waste any time. This is Ump Double Ump. Get off! You already failed. Here's here's Killer Demand. Um, it, with Ump Double Ump, he's jumping on his head now. Is he gonna give him a head ride to the to the start line? Well, this is chaotic. Killer Demand. This is his first time on a stage three since um, I want to say I'm pretty sure Tournament Seventeen is Smokey's course. And here he is giving him a head ride, or here's Ump giving Killer a head ride to the to the start line. Ump Double Ump and Killer and Man are good friends, and he, here is Ump himself cheering him on as he goes to the stage. He is eventually gonna go. I don't know when, but he will. <laughs> um. Here he is. The, this is the first stop for the drum hopper. People have to use the ledges and go back and forth and back and forth until on the five drums until you make it to the end. Not of the stage of the obstacle. Imagine making a stage with only drums. Or with only the drum hopper. That that's something that Atlantic should do for his main course called Abs Rip. Anyway, um here he is dancing because he beat it. Um, he said he's going to soak up as much screen time as he possibly can. And that's showing right now as he is com completely and utterly wasting my screen time. Anyway, he is into the floating boards. He's got the first one. You have to go along on these corner jumps onto the four boards until you beat it. And, and he just decided to waste a bunch of screen time. So we just ended up cutting the rest of the floating boards, and he's into the body crop. You have to go along the four panels and make sure to save jump. He's the one who taught me how to save jump, so this should be a pretty easy obstacle for him. He's on to the, he goes to the third and he gets it. No, he doesn't! He fails on the body crop! Just the third obstacle of the stage! And Killer Demand just came up short, and he cannot recover. He just didn't save jump. How ironic. And Killer Demand is down on the body prop. Well, in the course's point of view, one down and four to go. 
Next up is Daddy Cheese 2640, the second most screen time taking up person. Yes, screen time taking up is a word. Anyway, um, he's still number 10 for some reason um, on the board. I don't know why. He should be number 12. But nonetheless, he's into the drum hopper. He expressed concern for the stage overall. He's mainly just happy that he got here. And he's into the fourth drum. He's barely making these. And he barely makes it again, but he manages to beat the drum hopper. He's on to the floating boards. He is not having an issue so far. He gets the first one. He's lining up for the second one. And he gets it! He's on, he's on to the final board, and he walks off! Daddy Cheese! Down! He just, he, he seemed to line it up just fine, but he ran off and didn't get a jump. If he got a jump, he probably would have made it, but he didn't. And Daddy Cheese 2640's brilliant run has come to an end. Well, three competitors are left standing, and one of them is Long Shot Arrow 77. Um, I'm not going to bother to question if it's 77 or 76. But anyway, um, Long Shot Arrow, he is on to the third stage for a oh, first time and I don't remember a time where he's been on a third stage but anyway he's a drum hopper he has it he's into the fourth he goes directly for the fourth one a nice a nice move there picking up speed and he's into the floating board First one, he has it. Goes for the second. He's lining it up. He barely makes it. Nicely done. He's lining up the last one. He just watched Cheese fail it. Can he reverse that? No, he can't. He comes up short. Uh, long shot of 76. Down just the exact same jump as Daddy Cheese. Well, he got a jump off compared to the Cheese who didn't, so that's going to be a that's going to be a higher placement for him there. However, he's still not what he wanted. Let's see how he feels about it. To be honest, I didn't really expect to complete the first jump of it because. I know for a fact I am not that good at finding my jumps as I used to. So, I'd say this tournament did uh, pretty well for me. I got to uh, stage 3 for the uh, first time. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I hope I get back to the uh, third stage next tournament. I'm probably not because... I have a thing my skills gonna go a bit downhill, so yeah, that's it basically. Alrighty, well, we are just down to two more competitors, and what is going on behind it, like behind Atlantic? Um, well then, um, this is happening. The, we have a um, we have another sky cam. Here's Hunter this time being the one piloting it. And, um, Rog is in the cockpit. The two hosts being the ones who, um, are destroying Atlantic's run. By the looks of it. Anyway, um, what is there to say about Atlantic here? Um, in Tournament 2, when he got here, he achieved a, he achieved a court, he achieved someone no one else has done at this point by beating the hand climb. However, he failed the very next obstacle to find ball. 
In turn three, he failed the drum hopper, which was which was at that point much harder, and was the fifth obstacle. However, this tournament he beats the drum hopper. He's into the floating boards. He just watched two straight failures here. He's struggling to get on. There's the cameraman completely screwing around and um not focusing on the run, rather focusing on the sky cam. But nonetheless, he is into the fourth floating board and he just has to dismount, which he does, nice. He's onto the body prop, only killer managed to get this far, and he failed the third, and he failed to get into the third panel, which he does do. He currently has first place, but how much further can he take it? He's onto the crazy cliffhanger. On the double off was the first person to ever fail this in the last tournament. He's safe, jumping. That's not a good position to be in. But he goes for the big drop and he goes directly for it. He manages to go! Atlantic Camp! Can't not make the crazy cliffhanger. Just look at this. He goes directly from the, the third ledge to the fourth. And I don't know if that was smart. You cannot stick that fourth ledge and it costs him. As he rushed it and failed. <sighs> well, we're down to just one more stage three runner and down to just one more chance for a, for the first ever stage four attempt. This is DHG Fireball. He, he has never failed any obstacle on this course other that is not named the hand climb. He's going at a very fast pace. He's still, despite despite this being the, the the stamina stage and the one stage where you don't have to go fast, here he is absolutely torching it again. He's making this entire course look like a playground, and he is killing it. He's into the final board, which he which he sticks. And he beats the floating boards. He's on to the body prop. And he gets the third, he gets the fourth, and he's moving on. Beats the two new obstacles, the floating boards and body prop, which only him and Atlantic have done. If he if he manages to beat this, he will get first place. He sticks the third ledge, unlike Atlantic, and he gets a second save jump. Come on, he goes for it, and he's got it! He has beat the crazy cliffhanger, and he is in first place of the tournament. That is guaranteed since there's no other runners. But can he get to stage four? He's into the sidewinder, which from your last tournament, and he beats it! This is, this is it. This is the obstacle that he's failed consecutively in every tournament he's been a part of. He skips the first ledge, he goes to the third, and he's got it. He's into the fourth. In tournament two, he overshot that. This is the jump he failed in tournament three. He fails! He goes! He walks off the hand climb and the tournament's over! DHG Fireball walks off the fourth ledge, ending tournament four! And it's over! It's all over! DHG Fireball! has failed the hand climb for the third time in a row. And once again, the hand climb deals the final blow, ending another tournament. Well, that's all from me for this tournament. I cannot thank you enough for watching and everyone who competed especially. In first, in first place for this tournament was DHE Fireball failing the hand climb. And second was Atlantic Champ failing the crazy cliffhanger, third being killer to man, and so on and so forth. Again, thank you all for watching. That is all from me. I will see you all in Tournament 5, which will be starting, which is just around the corner. Thank you all so much, and I will see you all soon. This is SonicFan10193 signing off.